at the car wash right now. So we just got our car wash and we just got Starbucks. Um, I got a venti um, dragon drink with peach juice and it's really good. Okay guys, my room really needs to be vacuumed so I'm gonna do that. To-do list is vacuum, wipe down those surfaces in my room and pack. I don't know what I'm packing today but stuff that I don't really need that I won't need for the next month. I filmed a bunch of footage of me cleaning my room and vacuuming and stuff and it deleted it. So. Okay, I just got this box together. Um, oh, I just did it upside down. I should, it's okay. I feel like I'm just going to see it out. Yeah, so I'm going to put um, bookshelf stuff in here because I don't need my bookshelf stuff. Okay, I'm about to organize all my like, skincare stuff into the spinner thing. Um, this is my sister's, but she gave it to me, so I'm gonna give it a good clean and then put this down here. I got this all clean. Um, now I'm gonna take the stuff that's in here and put it in here. I know this little cute little pink hand. Okay, here's the finished result. So here I have like hair products and then some like skincare and face wash stuff. And then um, deodorant, and then like all of my like, daily makeup stuff, and then like, a hairbrush and eyelash curler. And then I'm just gonna put this right here so that in the morning when I'm getting ready, I can just. Okay, guys, so it's a little bit later, and I am going to um, do some journaling. Okay, I got both of these adorable new notebooks for the new year. So this one is green, and it says, and it says places to be, things to do, and I don't know why it's not focusing. One. And then I also got this one that says notes. Um, so. I lit the cedar bomb candle. This one smells so nice. I got it for Christmas. Guys, she just came and laid down on my face. <laughs> I kind of forgot to film between now and my lesson, so I'm going to do a little voiceover of my lesson. So today I wrote Indie Bandy. Um, he actually did really good. Last week we had a bit of a, or not last week, but the last time I wrote him, we had a little bit of a difficult time. He's just a very lazy horse and I am not used to riding really lazy horses. I'm more of a forward horse person. But honestly, he's a really fun horse to ride, and once you get him doing what you want, it's really, really fun. So today we were working on pole work and 
strides so my trainer just put out two poles and she wanted me to get three strides because she said I need to work on pushing him forward because again he's a very lazy horse so the first one we did not because I was not pushing him hard enough and he kind of tripped and then started trotting so it wasn't we weren't even like doing strides but then like the second and third one or the second and third one my mom got on camera were actually really good um the only thing was he kept switching leads which my trainer warned me about he knows how to do flying lead changes so he just kind of thinks that he's always supposed to do flying lead changes so that's one con we have but other than that this lesson was pretty good and i will let you guys just watch the rest of it <laughs> okay, it's hard because you have to get the timing right. You have to cue him as he comes up. Do you feel how he comes up? That's when you cue a flying change. Okay? Now keep your right leg back and on his hips so he doesn't try to change leads. Right leg back on his hip, right leg back on his hip. Wait in your left leg. Right leg back on his hip. Running into wall. Okay, I didn't really film an outro for this video, so I'm filming that now while I'm editing. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I feel like I did quite a bit um, these last two days, just cleaning the house and getting my life kind of like reset for the next year. If you enjoyed this video, please go down below and consider giving this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. Um, I will see you for the next video.